Well, I made my rounds without you this morning. I haven't fed yet. Went up to the shop, warm my toes back up. We really didn't get any snow to speak of. Because that's not snow. The ice pellets we had, sleet, whatever you want to call it. Blue, what do you got? Hmm. Well, he's got calf poop or he's got a rat. <laughs> All I see is a mouthful of straw. Yeah. It kind of drifts and blows. And... But snow's not shiny. <laughs> Blew in there. Actually came in about 10 feet where the cows come in and out down there. When we look out here, though, it sure looks like snow. But if it was really snow, you should really be able to see it falling in that light right there. And uh, I can see it, but I sure really don't see it much on the screen. And believe it or not, most of these footprints don't go in more than about an inch and a half. Well, even mine. There. That's me stepping straight down. That's not even in a quarter of an inch. Uh, this stuff's four inches thick. <laughs> Maybe a little thicker. You can still hear the spots for the ice is underneath and crunching. But, no, I checked a couple spots and we're at least four inches for most of the and yeah, I just thought I'd show you of course you know the dogs they have to walk in front of me and you know all the pristine ice is <laughs> sleet whatever you want to call it it's pretty well chewed up but no this isn't something you step into and go in up to your ankle you don't need snowshoes to walk on this, that's for sure. I mean, I'm just, that's from walking uphill and I'm kicking into it as I step forward, you know. Walking downhill doesn't hardly leave a mark. Oh, hey, here. Let's see if I can dig. Well, I can get down that far. I just hit one of the layers of ice right there. So anyway, that's our Saturday morning start. Uh, the one thing I am grateful for is we were supposed to end up with freezing rain and sleet. Originally they were talking mostly freezing rain. And the way it's turned out, it's been mostly sleet. So, not putting the extra weight on the power lines it's not putting the extra weight on the trees i don't want to speak too soon but the power hasn't even flickered once for us i know there's some places that don't have any power it didn't yesterday um quickie here the water in here is fine and we're at 24 degrees this morning this in here generally won't freeze until we're you know 20, 22, and then it's that overhead line right there that freezes. Good morning, ladies. That one is Amy's daughter from last year. Oh, who you are, buddy. It's a steer in the middle. And 324A, I think her mom is the tall, skinny one with the patches on her eyes. Oh, and... Many being a jerk because the dogs walked by. That's fine. She's only that way when she's got a new calf. She chills out later. That's how they should be. Give her another week and the dogs would be walking in around her calf and eating calf poop. Now I may as well ramble for another 15 seconds and make it 5 minutes, right? I was going to show you another one, but I can't find her. Uh, that one right there, 132. That's her mama right there. And uh, 
Uh oh. Hey, that's her calf, the big girl. Second to the last, or third to the second to the last one born. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh well, and I didn't find any new babies today, so. But the day's not over. So I'm gonna freeze my butt off some more and get some other water done and get some cows fed. I might see about piling some sleet up someplace. Because when it starts to melt, it's going to flood this barn the way it's laying. So, definitely going to have to do something with it before that. So, those kid steers, she don't start too bad when it's cold, but it's a whole lot easier if she's plugged in. So, I'm going to plug her in. Okay, we're a couple hours later in daylight. Uh, now it's actually snowing. Looks like it's a mix. There's a bunch of sleep mixed in with it. So, and now I'm trying to figure out what I did. Ben came out yesterday and brought pizza. And I love pizza, but pizza don't always love me, you know. So I didn't finish feeding. I don't know what I did with my gloves. And my tracks go right straight from the barn, and I don't think I left them laying there. I don't know. I know where they didn't go. Could be an interesting day. My fingers are going to get cold. Hummingbirds are out, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm sure you can't see it. I can see it. Little bugger sitting on a branch. Oh, come on, camera. Zoom in. He's still there. Dark spot, center of the screen. Hey, he just flew up. That was perfect. There's probably a dozen of them around here. So, there's your winter wonderland for us. Yeah, you've probably seen enough of that. Most of you got it anyway, right? There was only money in hauling sleet and snow in a grain trailer. I'd have it made. Probably a good thing to, I leave the gates open since the tarp shot. I leave the gates open anyway if it's parked. Happened to see that when I was getting water going back here. <laughs> you ain't going to see it on film, but after lunch, Becky heard one of them bellering. She wasn't doing anything before lunch, so. But there's some huge freaking hooves and a two-year-old. So, more fun for the day. Told you that was a big calf. She ain't going to be up for a little while. We only pulled her by hand, just with the chains. If we'd have had extra, extra here, there's two of us pulling, and Becky was helping loosen her up to get the head out. But, life bull calf, Mama's not sure yet. It's, it's her first time, and the bad thing is when you pull them, you miss the switch on the way out sometimes. And she has no clue what happened. All she knows is all she could do is pivot around and not get up. So we ain't going to let her lay all day. We'll let her lay a little bit. Hopefully she'll start cleaning on him. We'll probably put something on him to help. Like a little mother up. Yep, I got it. So, anyway. There he is. I'll bring you back show you what we're doing a little bit. Or how he's doing. Told you I'd get you a little more. Sprinkle a little mother up on him. And Becky and I had to kind of block the corners to get her to go over. And she figured it out after he was talking to her. He's got a little gurgle going, but he's been talking good. So it'll work out. And she got to going on him. So we're going to sneak out of here and stay at a nice distance to give her some comfort and make sure she keeps working on him. His mother up just doesn't do it. Notice he's a funny color. It's because I just sprinkled some ground feed on him. She actually had him about half cleaned up on that side. But she was with her head over against the gate over there, nibbling on some straw. It's like, no, you're not. Her udder hurts, so she ain't into this. We ain't hurting her. We're just holding her. She's probably got a... Oh, I imagine she's got a pint out of her anyway by now. 
This is what happens when they get a little older than they were and their teeth get a little big. And the way it's turned out, a uh, little boy there got a tummy ache. I like that little girl that got some pills the other day, and we were gonna try to be sneaky. And his mama don't milk. He's been getting a bottle part of the time. So we were gonna be sneaky and uh, see if we could get him to do a little bit here. But yeah, he got up here and he took him a poop, and oh my God, it was just as bad as his. And if you look to the right of his tail on his butt cheek, yeah. That's nothing you want to play with. So, hmm, two of them with scours. That's makes three so far. That's damn near 50% of what's on the ground. Really, we need to get her the old one-legged stool strapped to her butt, and she can sit there and just go for it. But we're going to give some of this milk to this other calf, even though he's got the scours. You can't. He ain't got the scours from not eating. He's got the scours or from eating too much. He's got the scours because for some reason we got it. Oh, well. Little rock driveway scraping. Rock scraping. Yeah, geez, I can't even talk. Number two decided she had to put a couple pieces on top of that one. I didn't do it to clear the snow. I did it to control where the melt's going to go. Because within the next day or two, we're supposed to be like 54 degrees. Ground wasn't even froze yet. And it made it to 35 degrees today. So, what's here now is mostly slush. Well, at least where I scraped. There's seven big piles. That size and bigger. And hopefully we don't get too much in the barn. But as you can see, it's starting to melt here. It's starting to run. And there's the new mama and the baby. She's doing well. Kid's been up and eating. She's cleaned. Now I gotta feed her. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna go in and feed myself. 